The Smart Laundry system is specifically designed for on-premise laundry applications. It is designed to be user-friendly whilst retaining all the necessary functionality and flexibility required. The system is available in two, three and four pump options. For the purpose of this video we will be using the most common three pump system. All of the programming is done via the remote which has two modes of operation, chemical enable and formula select. For the first part of this video we will be looking at chemical enable mode. This mode of operation gives the end user the option to increase the level of detergent and enable or disable the softener and disdainer. The programming menu is divided into three access levels. 11, which is the engineer's code and gives access to the whole setup menu. To enter the setup menu, press and hold the plus and minus buttons until the display requests a PIN code. Enter 11 by pressing the plus button. If you overshoot, simply press the minus button to reduce the number. Then press the arrow button to confirm. The first screen shows the signal settings for pump 1. Pump 1, the detergent pump, is limited to pre and main wash phases. Use the plus button to move the cursor and the select button to select or deselect the phase when you would like pump 1 to run. When you are happy with the selection, press the arrow button and repeat the process for pumps 2 and 3. Pressing the arrow button, once more, the screen will now give you the option to set the run times. To make things easier, only the pre-selected phases for each pump will be displayed. Enter the run times, use the plus and minus buttons and the arrow button to continue. Repeat the process for all phases. Once this process is completed, the screen will show the detergent adjust high and low percentage. This is the amount the unit will increase or decrease detergent delivery by, according to the high and low settings on the remote. For example, if the pump 1 runtime has been set at 10 seconds and the detergent high is at 50% and the low is at 50%, the pump will run for 5 seconds in the low setting and 15 in the high setting. The next screen will give the default settings for the de-stainer and softener. If the defaults are set to off, every time the unit finishes its program, the unit display will default to off and the chemical will have to be selected by the end user. The next screen will give you the option to set the pump to delay. This is the time from which the signal is received to the time that the pump doses. This is to avoid pump 2, which is usually the disdainer, from being dosed onto a dry wash. The final screen gives the reset delay for the unit. This is the time from when the final rinse signal until the unit can be reset set and new program started. Pressing the arrow for a final time takes you to the complete screen and the unit will return to standby mode and the default screen. PIN code 22 enables the user to access the wash count information, then the option to reset the wash counts and make adjustments on the runtime.
can also adjust the high and low percentage settings and choose the default setting for the de-stainer and the softener. PIN code 33 enables the user to select between the operational mode of the unit, chemical enable and formula select. Pressing the arrow then asks if you would like to accept each signal once or every time it is received. Generally, first trigger signal option is used. Proceeding through the menu, the unit displays the signal status screen. When signal is received, a block appears in the relative phase. If no block is displayed, the unit is not receiving a signal and there may be a connection issue. If all blocks are displayed, there is a breakdown in communication between the remote and the main unit. In this case, the connection cable should be investigated. Chemical enabled mode calibration. To ensure accurate dosing, it is important to carry out periodic calibration. In chemical enabled mode, press and hold the select button. The screen will then display the pump to be primed or calibrated. Select the required pump by using the relevant button to begin calibration. The pump will now run for 30 seconds or until the select button is pressed. As well as calibration, this procedure can be used to prime the dosing lines. Only qualified electrical engineers should attempt to open the unit and you should also ensure that the unit is disconnected from the mains before opening. Once inside the unit, there is a small DIL switch block. Number one changes the unit from an intelligent to a relay unit, and number two turns the unit from a three to a four pump system. These are defaulted to intelligent system with remote and for the correct version for the number of pumps the unit has. If the three pump option is selected on a four pump unit, only settings for the three pumps will be displayed. The unit also has signal switches for selecting high or low signal voltages.